Okay, hey Serena, I'm going to try to explain how to fix the multiple submission here, um, or the, the button where you've got uh, the checkboxes aren't responding to the clear all. So what I did was try to create a, a little sample app so that in case I had to post this to Stack Overflow, I wasn't using our stuff. So I've got just a, you know like a property kind of like your fields over on the left on your on your form. I've got a hey you you know property hey property to you, and then I've got this list of foobar objects with check boxes on there, right? And um, you can see if I click button one, you know I click the do this stuff button. I click button two, do that stuff button. You know, and I'm getting the rows returned. You can actually see in the controller here. Set a breakpoint. You can see that if I click a button two, you know, I get I get the model back with all my my foos inside of it, and the model is really simple. It's just this little model, you know, kind of like the index model, and then a foo would be similar to the skews. So I've got an ID, a property, and a boolean property, which is the checkbox, right? So if I go back here in the controller, you can see I've got a model here. You know, the ID 1, true, foobar, and so on and so forth, right? ID 2, true, foobar 1, and so on. Uh, and you can see I click on the do that stuff button. So, uh, you know, if I check, uncheck these two, and I click one of these buttons, in this case I deselected ID 2, so we'll go look in the, in the model here, and you'll see that ID 2 is false. 92 is still true, so I'm, so I'm definitely getting the the stuff back. But when you notice when I click the check all, this breakpoint, and the uncheck all, just like you're having, it's not doing anything. It's not it's not checking or unchecking these buttons. Um, in fact, I don't know if you see this little on line 52. I'm actually setting the value of this because I was seeing, oh, is this a checkbox issue, which is what I was researching at first. Or is this a different issue? You see, I'm actually setting the value of my property two to the submit button, right? And it's also not returning that. It's also not doing what I'm telling it to do. You can see it's doing the display of it down here. So on my form, I actually have uh, a display for, and I'm displaying this message. And the message that I'm setting is I'm setting the submit button text, right? So I'm I'm actually getting the display for, but none of the values. Well, I found this little option, this thing called clear. Uh, and I'll show you the post in a minute. So apparently, you have to clear the model state. Now, I'm, I added an option to the form so you can see here. Now, if I click button one, you'll notice that it's do this stuff. So now I'm actually getting the values to update, right? And you'll also notice when I click uncheck all, all of them uncheck, check all, all of them check, right? And everything else still responds the same. So if I click these three and I click button one, notice it's still it's still doing the stuff. So what I found is I came first I came across this Stack Overflow post where some people thought it was a bug, but apparently this is by design. And if you want, you can read this guy's long. Because um, I'm like, why would I call clear? I've never had to do that. But apparently on this MSDN blog, he describes the reason why, and basically. Um, ASP.NET assumes that when you render the view in a post and you're using HTML helpers, you're redisplaying a form that has failed validation. And therefore, the HTML helpers check model state and they don't, um, so it enables them to redisplay the data, but they're not going to display any fields that have been updated. So the reason why I wanted to show you that is because I do think this is the answer we want to use. But you also want to be careful if you're doing any kind of validation. Like if, if you did some validation and the model, you're sending down back the model and there's errors, I don't think you want to do this clear. So you may want to have that in an if, you know. Um, my suggestion would be like if you come down to the bottom of here and right before you return the model, you might want something like if model state uh, what was that? is valid. Right. Yeah, I think that's it. Because if it's not valid, that means there are errors. And if the model state is valid, then you could model state clear, right? 
That way, if further up the line, if you had done something like uh, model state dot add model error, if you'd added some error because you were doing some server side validation, you know, whatever the key would be, and then my exception message here, um, you didn't do something right, or something didn't validate, whatever. We would skip the clear so that it would. It would, the model state would have those errors in it. So I think long story short, that is the answer to the issue. How the heck do I stop this video?